Hello, Facebook, YouTube. The day of uh, Gabriel, the archangel, God is our strength. No, not uh, me and I. He's a false god. Quick acknowledging false gods on God's days. Topic of the message. All right. Well, today, um, I'm going to be rocking it today. You know what I'm saying? And rocking it more likely is called, you know, Jesus Christ, the rock. You know what I'm saying? Uh, sorry, not Dwayne Johnson. You know what I'm saying? It's Jesus Christ is the rock. You know what I'm saying? The rock of ages. And I'm going to be rocking Jesus today, you know? Uh, yeah. And, and all right, get ready for the new, the real new year, you know? Uh, uh, March uh, 17th on St. Patrick's Day is going to be the new real new year if those follow exodus 12 they will declare this as the new year the beginning of months if they follow follow the god or a a a yahweh if they follow him but they don't follow him it's not a new year to you all right but the topic of the message is talking about the reality of who is following who you know, I was meditating on the idea of, I don't, it just kind of popped into my mind. Like I had, uh, I was working, wanted to work on something about the rock. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be working on some rocky rock messages pretty much. And, but uh, it's kind of like the shepherd. Uh, Jesus says um, those, uh, he talks about that, you know, if you, you know, if you are following him, you will, when you hear his voice, you know what I'm saying? He's your shepherd. You know, the sheep hear, yeah, the sheep hears my voice. He said, the sheep hears my voice and follows him. But of course, Jesus shows the expression of his love towards the sheep that it, it, he will go out and if he got 99 sheep and he's supposed to have 100 he will go out and go get the one you know what i'm saying that strayed away and the thing is and but in order for jesus to go get that one he has to go go he has to go find you and will follow to find you to where you strayed away from See what I'm saying? He has to go and find you and follow the path to where you strayed away from. That's what the ideal of this message is about. Who is following who? You know what I'm saying? In in your life, are you following Jesus Christ and the shepherd? Are you following the shepherd into his direction? Or he has to follow you and try to find you because you strayed away from it. Now, here's what I want you to get at this ideal message, because especially Christians, um, the thing is, you know, like the scriptures, and I have been preaching on the church system. This church system is not following accordingly to what the word of God says. And because it's not following according to the word of God says, that people will find themselves straying away from the ideal of church that is presented to people that I say that is incorrect, that this church system is not operating a, in, is an incorrect system, according to the scriptures that we've been warned throughout the Bible. I mean, Jesus says, you know, this shall come with, you know, let no man deceive you, for many shall say, I am Christ, and deceive many. I mean, who who's these I am Christ? I mean, if you put I and A to that N, I A and N to that Christ, you get Christian. Just saying. But, um, you know, it's an incorrect church system that is operating right now. And the thing is, now people are being led astray because of they don't like this incorrect church system that is not doing what the word of God says it's supposed to. And unfortunately, now uh, concerning those people, now God, the shepherd has to go find them. 
You know, go find out where they're at. Go, go, go find out what, where they have strayed away from because of the, you know, unfortunately the, uh, subpar performance of Christianity right now, because it's following a wrong direction. It's subpar. It's not the word of God because, you know, Christians are not, you know, up to par concerning of how we're supposed to show love and joy, peace and really supposed to conquer darkness, you know, because I believe that light is supposed to overcome darkness, not darkness overcoming the light, right? Um, uh, and unfortunately, people are straying away uh, uh, from the faith. But the thing is, you know, uh, Christians, who are you following? Like, you know, I see posters that talks about the ideal of church hurt, you know, it's it, it this church system is operating in, in an incorrect system. Now people are being hit, hurt by people in the church. And, you know, and they, you know, the scripture, I mean, the, those posters is saying that, you know, if you uh, made your decisions on leaving the church based upon people, then you're, you wasn't really following God. And it is correct. You know what I'm saying? That we are supposed to follow the word of God. We're not supposed to follow Christians. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to follow Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? The whole objective is being a Christian is to be more like Christ and not more like Christians. And and, and the thing is, the thing is, we we need to understand our motive of really being with Christians. You know what I'm saying? Our our motives is going to be about following God, or God will have to because He loves you, will and he wants you to have a relationship with him, he will go out and follow you and find you where you're at. And the thing is, you know, and it's a sad concerning, I, I meet a lot of people, you know, you could tell they've been religionized, you know, I went to this Catholic church or I went to this Baptist church or I went to this Presbyterian church or whatever religious ideal uh, church and something bad happened, surprisingly. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's sad that, you know, and people deem this, uh, deem whatever they went to as an ideal of church or an ideal of Jesus Christ or an ideal of God. And um, according to the word of God, you, they're not allowed to do that because you have to follow the instructions, follow the instructions of what the word of God says in its whole entirety to understand what is about God and what is about Jesus Christ and what is Jesus Christ is all about. I mean, what, what the will of God is all about concerning your life. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you know, it's plain to see that Jesus Christ, when you follow him, that you will get rejected. You are going to get ridiculed. You're going to get mistreated. You're going to, you're going to go through hardship. You're going to go through a, a lot of difficult situation, but by faith through grace, you will learn how to become an overcoming to overcome those situations and circumstances. And the thing is that, and we are supposed to follow that. But the thing is, you need to be asking a question based upon, you know, uh, who am I following? Am I truly sincerely following the word of God? Or am I truly sincerely following people? You know what I'm saying? Is that really scenario? Am I following people that say that they are following God or am I following God? And the thing is, that's that people need to get on that sincere quest to question what is what is they perceive as God or Jesus Christ that may not be God and Jesus Christ, because the scriptures clearly says that. There shall become a time that men will not endure sound doctrine. They shall heed themselves to itchy ears, you know, believing fables and turning away from the truth. Uh, Second Timothy 4, it talks about that. And, and of course, like it says right there, you know what I'm saying? Jesus said, said it straight up in this time that many shall say, I am Christ and shall deceive many. I mean, and then it says in the uh, Matthew 24 and uh, 20. Uh, three, 
it talks about that, you know, they will say, Lo, Jesus, they will say, Hear it, more likely, Here is Jesus, Lo, I'm there, Lo, I'm there, and believe them not. That's what it's crazy. Jesus is saying this stuff because what's crazy is this church system, you know, Christians, you know, these days, it's not so much of a realistic uh, approach of the ideal of who we are supposed to be representing. Because Jesus Christ, if you read the Bible and read it, you will see a real person. I mean, Jesus is a straight, hardcore, you know what I'm saying, real person. He saves what he says and he means what he means. And he just straight up and say it. You know what I'm saying? This is the characteristics of Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? He will be straight up. He, I mean, he's from heaven. I mean, he's straight up from heaven. You know what you expect from this performance. You know, Jesus is a straight forward person and he will say what he's supposed to say whether you like it or not he will tell you this is the deal and you just need to follow it you know and that's why I love what really for me following I mean I was in a religious church uh and like trying to figure out what's going on here and it was going crazy but now having a relationship with God and now sincerely studying the scriptures and looking at what Jesus is saying and here seeing his performance in the word of God. I'm like, what, what is going on here? You know what I'm saying? This is a real straight up, uh, you know, person that is sincerely trying to tell you, you, this is what you do. This is what you do. If you do this, you'll get that. You do this, you get that straight up. You know what I'm saying? And you don't, you don't have to figure out and try to, you know, Create your own idea. I'm just saying. Yeah, it says in uh, Matthew 24, 23, it says, Then if any man shall say you, lo, here is Christ, or there, there, believe it not. That's what he said. For there shall arise false crises, uh, false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if we're possible, if it were possible, they should deceive the very elect. And he's warning us of this situation, but we need to learn how to identify what is what he's saying is of, 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 of that is going on right now. And we know that a church system is not performing up to par according to the word of God. We got to honestly look at the viewpoint to de deem it. Is if it's Christ or not? Because who is who are we following? Are we following Christ, or we are following uh, uh, Christians that make that says that they are following Christ? But are we sure that they're following based upon according to the Word of God? That's what this is. Uh, want I want you to go question who are you following? You know what I'm saying? Who is following who? But but because, but let us concerning the outcome, let the outcome speak for itself and let the patterns of neck, patterns of uh, failure of certain situations and circumstances that happens, unfortunately, in the church, let it speak for itself. Let reality speak for itself. Do not try to be like, oh, because uh, I like people seeing that's what I was talking about yesterday about popular opinion is one of the most dangerous uh ideals that you know get doesn't get people to do sincerely truly do the will of God popular opinion we're following what everybody else says and going to that broad gate that leads to destruction that Jesus warned us about that we need to be careful and aware of who we're following popular opinion or the word of God you know what I'm saying that you need to question who are you following who is following hope? All right, that's the message. Hope you got it. God be glory. Him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.